another feature I wanted to talk to you about, which is where we put the frost wall and the slab together. Um, we usually put a, um, a material called tearaway, and it's a foam material that goes in between the frost wall and your slab. So what happens is your slab is somewhat floating on the top of the wall or butts up to the side of the wall. And when you have two different materials, you want to allow them to have some contraction and expansion opportunities. And so what we do is, before we pour our concrete, we put a material in here, right against the wall, where the slab and the frost wall would meet. And then after everything dries, after we do some of the construction, we'll tear away the top half inch material. And that's designed so we can pull it away. And in that crack that we have created by the tear away, is we put an expansion material called MP1. And this allows the, during the years when it's hot and cold, the slab and the frost wall, or when there's a contraction or expansion opportunity, uh, there's no cracking involved because we're allowing it to have some free floating opportunity. And by putting the MP1 is a good sealant and it is very durable. And the, the foam in between the two materials allow for expansion and then of course contraction. So first we do is we'll just pull away the top layer, this whole edge, all the way around the perimeter. And then We'll start putting a bead of this NP1 material, it's a caulking material, all around that perimeter. And then after our sheetrock is installed, and our baseboard is installed, and our floor materials are installed, and this uh, expansion joint's covered up. So that's also something you want to pay attention to when you're doing any projects on your own, or at least if you're having someone do it, just pay attention to some of these details.